Hello and welcome to Azure Lane Meta. If after this video you want to help support the channel, please check out my affiliate store at kit.co slash Azure Lane Meta. Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be talking about a project I've been a part of for the last six months. It is the Azure Lane English Community Tier List Project. You guys know I like tier lists, but they come with some inherent problems. When written by a single person, they can be biased, or even worse, written by somebody with no knowledge of the topic they are talking about and just trying to make a quick buck from ranking in search. And even good tier lists struggle to be relevant outside the specific game content they're built for, such as a tier list for World 13 only, or they may just have some problems remaining up to date. This is where the Azure Lane English, or Allen, community tier list comes in. Honestly, I was surprised when so many of my followers said they have never heard of my project since it has always been in the important links channel on my discord since its inception. So for those of you who have never heard of this project, I'm making this video today to showcase some of the hard work that has been going on in the past six months. There will be a link in the description to this project. I love working with community projects like this. Azure API was a free and open source one that I had a video on eight months ago. This led to so many more great projects springing off of it. The Allen community tier list is a tier list built by the English community for the English community. No more questionable sources, translating Chinese tier lists, or wondering if the information is even up to date. To counteract biases, you and everyone else can contribute to the tier list. They have a Discord server where you can bring up your contentions and you can ultimately vote. In order to create the most informed and accurate list, these discussions and final decisions are facilitated by experts in the game. We are talking about top ranking players on the EN servers and some of the most popular guide writers in the community. You may even recognize some of them if you bother to check the credit sections of some of your favorite guides. So when Slime, the original founder of the project, recruited me to head up the PvP section, I was honored. Now because Slime got busy IRL, the project is currently left in the capable hands of Rice. Due to the communicative nature of the project though, there were no activity hiccups in the transfer and there are still updates after every event. As you could probably tell due to the active event countdown timer on the front page. Now I will stay largely within my expertise in the PvP section that I manage with the Admiral of the Navy Ninjas. These are players that have been verified to have achieved the highest ranking in PvP. If you are interested in contributing, learn more about the verification process in my Discord server. I won't talk much about this guide in this video as most of what is written has already been put into a video form here and here. So if you'd rather read than listen, here is that avenue. I also keep an up-to-date PvP tier list here, but I will keep that for a separate video here for those of you who that are interested, so this video won't be so long. So let's talk about this English community tier list, the bulk of this website. It is once again supported and verified by the Azure Lane English community. If there's something here that you don't agree with, you can go to their Discord server and request a change. If you want to know more about the tiering criteria, they have their guidelines here. I won't go over all of that in the video, but you can pause and read it. So when you come onto this page, this is going to be the first thing that you see. You can actually sort by the different hull types of the ships. They then start with tier zero and go down all the way to tier N. Each ship has little indicators such as the flagship indicator that indicate different special criteria that were used when ranking it in that specific tier. So let's say that you wanted to find the best boss fleet carrier. So you go over to the carrier tier list and then you click on your boss fleet to sort by boss fleet. Now let's say additionally, you have already used your flagship for a different ship and you need to have non-flagship ships. You can click another indicator to sort by all the flagships. So you can see that in terms of non-flagship ships that are boss fleets, the highest tier 01 ship here would be Formidable or Enterprise, giving you two choices. Now let's say that you decide that you want to go with Enterprise. You can click on the ship here and it will give you a full loadout of the equipments that should be put on Enterprise. If you are in my Discord server, you can actually use the bot here that will also take this indicator. So for example, here for Shinano, it will create a list of 
what the equipments for Shadano should be. Remember that this is a PvE tier list, so we have submarines and we are not focusing at PvP at all. You can go to the PvP guide for all of that information. On top of just the tier list, which I won't show all of it, you can just go to the link in the description and get the most updated tier list right from the website, they have other tools. For example, for new players, Andy wrote this guide that walks you through every world chapter and gives you introductions to the chapter and all the little information pieces that you would need uh, for a new player that wants to clear that chapter. It also explains ship hole types and armor types and what they do, as well as different classes and how the introduction to the game. One that you guys might be interested in is the efficient farming guide, which talks about limit break zero ships and how to pick good farming ships so that you guys can not only pick good ships now but also use that information to pick good farming efficient ships in the future on top of that they also have the fleet maker this allows you to pick any ship in the game for example we can pick a russian fleet here and put them into positioning you can also change their equipments, although they do come preloaded with their optimized equipment. However, you can change them. You can then generate a link, which will copy this link, and you can share that to a friend so they can get the exact loadout of the ships that you want. Or you can generate an image, which will download an image file for you that will have the ships that you built in this fleet. It'll look something like this. So that's really it guys, it's a really simple site created by a lot of people putting a lot of work into this to keep it updated and keep it accurate. I do encourage you guys to check it out and if you guys are so inclined, also contribute to it as well. There are future things in the website that are going to be updated. For example, there's going to be a damage calculator that is currently in the works. As far as for me in the PvP guide, the PvP specific ship equipments will be coming once I have updated the PvP collection items and the new Operation Siren Gear Lab items. So I really hope you guys enjoy this and that you check it out. Take care and until next time, and if you guys are interested in that tier list video, that should be coming out very soon. If you like this video, please leave it a like, and if you want to get updated when I release new videos, definitely subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on if you are interested in that. If you want to learn about really early leaks as well as new projects that are being worked on, you can join my Discord server and find out more information about that there. Or just get more help about the game if you are a new player. Here are some of the other videos that are on my channel right here.